again <coughs> 747 home cockpit so again uh, a, a short series of videos I want to show you um, components in detail uh, so that you get an idea what's involved with something like, like the scale so I'm going to show you the outside shell now the outside shell to me is not really that important I see a lot of folks and you know and of course I am all for it they actually buy pre-made shells and spend two three four thousand dollars for that and but really you're sitting inside it doesn't it doesn't really matter so I basically <coughs> popped up of uh, uh, two pieces of four by eight styroplast uh, this stuff is wonderful to work with it's very very thin not very thin but it's thin enough you can cut with uh, scissors and it molds nice and easy so I just lapped it on the side it looks decent uh, a few decals to make it more realistic and there you go to me that was more than enough but the one component I really want to um, recommend and point out is the windshield this is called styroplastic and it's transparent now this stuff is phenomenal it's phenomenal because not only it bends around like a charm and it's fairly inexpensive I believe 4 by 8 was about $40 but you can cut it with your scissors and it doesn't break it's thin and uh, it just molds around it's easy to remove and reset um, and it's uh, you can uh, you can drive screws right through it and it doesn't break uh, like uh, other components would do other materials will do I mean this stuff just I love it and uh, that is really one of the um, components that will make your life a lot easier okay so make sure you check that out now the outside again we're looking at the outside right now okay so this uh, and the back of the simulator here I added this piece here recently it's about a foot 13 inches or so goes back from the original uh, setup it, it was open before as you probably seen in my older videos <coughs> but this really really made a difference I mean not only it looks fairly realistic I actually bought a $20 door I cut it uh, to a shorter uh, length uh, 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 widthwise I made a bunch of decals I bought uh, this plate here looks like armored um, of course a no working uh, security uh, keypad but it just adds it to the realism it, it, it has a really nice feel to it and it closes really nice and heavy and uh, this of course added a lot the trim around here it makes it makes it look like it's reinforced but of course it's, it's not and the inside of course now this has a lot of realism not only as far as looks is concerned but especially because when you're inside you basically feel like you're you're enclosed before you had the feeling of you know your behind you was always open you know always were turning around you know you just i don't know you always feel there's somebody behind you or something and now i close the door and you feel enclosed the sound sounds better it just a totally different feel it really adds to it and to build this whole thing this whole extension in the back it took me all weekend but it was probably one of the best thing I've ever done to the cockpit very well worth it highly highly recommended okay so that's as far as the external is concerned uh, the main the main electrical is right here that feeds the the lights inside the cockpit that does not fit the computer of course but that feeds all the paraphernalia it feeds also the the fan $15 fan to to that is controlled from the inside of course and because once you close the door it will get hot in there especially in the summer and believe me once you turn that turn it on it, it basically the 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 exhaust is right here which actually all, all it does is it takes fresh air from the outside the cockpit and it pumps it in inside the cabin and believe me that makes a huge difference uh, you know you really feel it when when you turn it on and the noise is you can barely hear it because of course your engines are running and everything okay so that's as far as the outside is concerned okay so see you soon ask questions thank you very much